Hey guys, Aaron here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install a Honeywell Smart Thermostat. All right, so what I like about this uh, Honeywell uh, Thermostat specifically is that it has a lot of the same functionality as some of your, high, your higher end uh, thermostats. Um, it's got Wi-Fi, it has an app. Um, you can program this thing, it does all your scheduling. You can program it from your phone. Um, you can control it from your phone. Um, it works with Alexa, Google Assistant. So it has a lot of those same features that some of your really high-end uh, thermostats have, but it's not it's not as expensive, right? So you can spend several hundred dollars on those things um, and get all that functionality. Yeah, that's great, but you can also spend a hundred bucks on this thing. At least that's what it was when I bought it, and you can get a lot of the same functionality. So that's kind of why I decided to go with this, um, and I think it's a pretty good option, um, at least in my situation. Um, so let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, so what we got in the box is our thermostat here um, and our faceplate. This will pull off there. We'll go over that later. Instructions, uh, mounting screws. We've got our wiring label here, um, which I will show you how to use. We've got our quick reference instructions. These are nice because they just fold up like this. And they'll actually go right in there. And this is just in case you forget how to program it or you sell your home and somebody else... Um, you know, somebody else needs to know how to uh, program it. It's right there. So to do this install, what we're going to need is some small screwdrivers. Um, and I'll put links to some of these in the description below, um, along with the Honeywell thermostat. But this, like I said, is a very nice thermostat. Um, so let's get to the install. All right, so before I uh, remove the faceplate, I'm going to go ahead and shut my power off at the breaker. Now the breaker it's usually on is our furnace here, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off. Now one thing you'll notice here, even though we shut our breaker off, is that our display is still working, and a lot of times that's because there are batteries in the unit, um, and I'll show you those in a minute. So let's get the faceplate off. So what we're first gonna do is we're just gonna take our screwdriver here like this, stick it in the side, and then just twist it, and that'll pop the face right off. And there are your batteries right there. When you pop those out, as you see now, the, the display is on. If you pop those out, the display will shut off. All right, so there's a couple things I like to do. Um, uh, once I got this, once I have the faceplate off, um, first I want to take a picture of it. That way I know what wire goes where. All right, now the other thing I like to do is I like to label the wires as they come out. So I'm going to take my screwdriver here. I need that. This is my W wire. And unfortunately, in this case, a lot of times you cannot go off color of the wire. So that's going to be Y even though it's blue. Now we'll just go ahead and remove the faceplate completely. Now one thing you'll notice is this, I do not have a C wire here, and to use the Wi-Fi, the Honeywell thermostat, it requires a C wire. So what we're gonna have to do is make some adjustments to make this work. So what we're looking for here is we need to make sure we have a G and a Y wire. If we do, we can do a C wire, it's just gonna be some alternate wiring. If you don't have this G and Y wire, unfortunately your system is not gonna be compatible. Um, with this thermostat. So what we're going to do now is called the C-wire adapter. So what we're going to do is we're going to relabel our G here to a C. Then we're going to relabel our Y-wire here to a K. Now there is there wasn't a K in my wiring label here so I had to actually take a blank and just write K on it. 
I'm going to head over to my furnace here. I'm just going to take the panel off here. All right, so what we're looking for here is where our thermostat wires connect on our control board. And that's going to be right down here. Now we got two wires here. We're just dealing with the thermostat wire right here. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to take a picture of that. All right, so like we did before, as I remove these, I'm just going to label them. Now, we're only messing with the thermostat wire here. There's another wire here, which we do not want to, we're not going to do anything with. And I will label those as I remove them. I'm going to do Y2 for that one, as I don't have a, another Y. W2. Now I don't have another R, so I will either use RH or you also there's all you can always make up your own as there's an extra one there. I'm just gonna use the RH. Same with the G, there's not another one, so I'll make up my own. Alright, now we got our all our wires labeled. Now, the other piece we need here is the Honeywell uh, C-Wire adapter. Now, I will link to this online, um, but unless you buy a certain model, um, you will have to order this, or it's possible you can call Honeywell and they will send you one. All right, so now we're going to take our thermostat wire here and connect this to our C-Wire adapter. All right, so now we're just going to take our W here, or W2, going to go in here we're just going to push that down slide that in I'll say there and we're going to take our G and that's going to go into our C here so we'll push that down right there and then we got K which is going to be our Y which is going to be our blue one here. Let's push that down. Slide that in there. Then we got R. It's going to go to R. And there you go. There's that. All right, and then we're going to take our other end here. And these are all labeled. Um, so we'll just put them in as they're labeled. So. All right, so now we're going to come back over to our wall here. Just stick this through there. Now, if you get a level, you can always stick a level on this. I'm not terribly worried about it. All right, now we're going to connect our wires just as they show. So, our red wire here is an R. Our green wire here is our C. And you'll be able to kind of see which Will they go in? Doesn't line up perfectly, but you can kind of see. And then our white wire is W, which is going to be right next to C here. And then our blue wire here is going to actually be K, which is going to, this is a little off, but you'll see down here the K is right there. Now that that's on, we'll just take our base plate here, snap that on there like that, and flip our breaker back on. All right, now we can see our thermostat comes on. And we've got Wi-Fi setup option, um, and that's really that's how you set up the C wire adapter and install the Honeywell home. 
Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you click that link below and become one. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and help us out with the YouTube algorithm. And we'll catch you on the next one.